Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 103, I think. I might be wrong, but it's a lot. For those who don't know what that is, you sent any gameplay you have, as much gameplay as you have, to this email right here. And I critique it. I review it. I go over your gameplay, teammates' gameplay. If it's solo shuffle, it'll probably just be mostly your gameplay. But I do twos, threes, RBGs, Mythic Plus, Raids, PB, PB, Miss Weaver, Windwalker. Doesn't matter. I critique it, review it. You could send it in multiple times. And if you're too shy to submit any gameplay, this is probably one of the best ways to learn. Record your gameplay and watch it back easily. Hands down the best way to learn how to get better at the game or pretty much anything. So today we have single female, it looks like. Let me see if there's anything in the email. All right. People said work on positioning. Would be sick if you could highlight where I should position to not range port, but make myself unavailable for kicks. Love your content, QT. Alrighty, well, thank you, and yeah, we will get over, we'll go through, we're going to do positioning, gameplay, cooldown rotation, everything. So it looks like we have 1820 CR Mistweaver, it looks like we got a Windwalker and an Arms Warrior, and we have a Destrolock and Assassination Rogue, and I didn't see the healer on the other team, but let's see, we're playing against Rogue Lock right now, really like Peace Weaver versus this, as well as um, Restoro. I think Restoro is really good, especially when you get stunned by the Rogue. This way, if they go with you, you could Restoro, or if you get, I don't know, Shadow Feared or something, you could still Restoro, stop damage, stop any follow-up CC. Definitely prefer, yes, good. And then we're going with Eminence and Short Life Cocoon, so Chrysalis. Yeah, you could gamble. I would bet that they don't try to hit you. I think they're probably going to try to hit your Windwalker if they're smart. If they don't hit your Windwalker, your Windwalker is just going to run right over them. So I would... I would gamble because you are the only caster on your team. I would go Zen Focus T instead of Eminence, I, I think. Um, I know it is a little bit risky if they do go you, but... Oh, it's Arrested Druid. Okay. Yeah, so they got a little bit of stuns too. So Restoral, definitely the better option here. Um, but I, I would I would drop Eminence for Zen Focus T. But um, I guess we'll see. If they go you, it pays off. If they don't go you, it feels like a dead talent, which is what sucks about Mistweaver Talents. You're basically gambling to see, you know... Um, gambling your talents. Uh, combat, please, and stay in line. That's fair. They're probably not going to. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, first off, your port is really far away. I'm just letting you know. Sorry, my glass. I can't see out of them right now. Um, your port, normally I put like in this ditch right here, or I pick a pillar. This port is too far away from your team. You're playing with two melee. You're not playing with a caster and a melee. You're playing with two melee. So odds are that they're probably gonna probably gonna be dragged like pretty close to this pillar. So what I would recommend is whichever side of the pillar they're on is the pillar you should go to. So if they're on the left side of this pillar, put your port on this side, this pillar. If they're on this side of the pillar, put your port here. This one, this pillar, really good pillar for when you're playing with two casters. Like if you're playing, or even just one. If you're playing Warlock, Warrior, um, you know, Mage Lock, Shadow Priest Warrior, you know, anything like that. Yeah, this is a good pillar because you you have your Shaman to kind of support your teammates. But you are the only healer. You're the only caster. So I would pick a pillar, whichever one they're on, and then put it there. Shadow Melt instantly to stop the sap is actually not a bad idea. It looks like they get the sap on your Windwalker. Your warrior leaps. Okay. Uh, all right. I uh, wouldn't recommend probably leaping. We are seeing the blind life cocoon. All right. Probably didn't have to life cocoon mostly because. I mean, I I do see it. If if this is a if this is a smoke bomb, then yeah, it's actually a really good life cocoon. It's not. Um, but that's okay. Did wait? Did they even kitty shot? I see the warrior leap. Get behind the pillar, blind on you. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have life cocooned here, and this is kind of where Zen Focus T comes in handy. You could have trinket Zen Focus T so the warlock couldn't kick you, and then you're fine. But I don't think the life cocoon was needed. But I guess your Windwalker didn't use any any spells, so that's evasion from the rogue as well. This is Fist of Fury. Um, it's not Serenity yet, so that's kind of good for you. You can probably get a kill on the rogue. Kill target's probably gonna be the warlock though in the long run. Trying to see right now. This coil on your on your Windwalker there. Yeah, we're doing good. That's Karma as well. We still... Oh, yep. Yeah, see, so this is exactly what I was talking about right here, by the way. Right here. So, you're playing with two melee, playing against a caster. Even if they're hitting the rogue, your rogue's, their rogue's going to be close to their warlock. You're really far from your port. Actually, I would wager that you're out of range of your port. Um, that's why... Oh, no. It doesn't look like you are. Barely not. But this is what I'm talking about. Pick... So, we're on this side of the pillar... Put your port here and then play on this pillar 
don't keep your port way far back because then you're not even going to get peels if they try to go you. Um, but looks like we do a really good job right now. We do get step kicked. If, if you do get step kicked here, we're not hitting the rogue. Go for an in cap on the rogue. Rogue has no trinket, right? No trinket. He kicked you. No one can stop your in cap. So just go for a paralysis on the rogue here. Beautiful. Give me a song off that. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. This is really good. This is this is really good. This is like bread and butter of peel for yourself because your teammates, it, in my experience in solo shuffle, they're gonna just gonna kind of tunnel vision one target. Are we gonna go for a sweep off if we have one? I don't mind it. And then I would get away. Okay, like, okay. let's get away from him now. Don't want to stay stacked on the rogue because he can probably just kidney shot you and kick you. So, oh, and there's the in cap from the Windwalker. All right, Restore is good, but we, we didn't use it while stunned, so we kind of lose some value with Stamp and Harm as well. We have a free Vivify right now, or free, an instant Vivify right now, it looks like. So I, you could just like go for it. Um, Port is perfect, actually. I guess Eminent paid off. Eminence did pay off. Um, really well done here. Re really good. Uh, this is when your team should probably go on the rogue just instantly. No, no cloak, no evasion, no trinket, one leg sweep, and it's over. So what we're looking for right now, obviously there's no voice or anything like that, but what you're looking for now is hopefully a stun on the rogue and get a kill. Your Windwalker doesn't have any cooldowns. Good job kiting out a smoke bomb, which is really nice. Um, another kick on you. Um, this is kind of why I like Zen Focus T, just because you see how far behind you fall when you get kicked. Like, we're fine, right? Everyone's 100% health. We get kicked. And now everyone's dying. We see Chaos Bolt coming through. And, like, you see you're, you're dying. Your teammate's dying. It's why I like Zen Focus T, but Eminence did pay off for you that one go. Uh, Faint on the Rogue here. So, it's, uh, hopefully, if we could just save any damage for it, it'd be really good. Um, I do see that we're clicking our frames. I'm only going to comment it once because it's, it is it is a big deal. But, like, you do what you're comfortable with. I would recommend making keybinds for targeting your teammates. Um, a really popular one is mouse will up for party one, mouse will down for party two, and then middle mouse button to target yourself. Again, I, I don't like to mention, I don't like to comment people's UI or like keybinds or whatever, just because you know it's completely personal preference. But I'm just saying, if you want to be a little bit faster when it comes to targeting and increase your awareness, try to make some keybinds. We do see death mark on your Windwalker as well, so we got to crank some healing right now. The rogue actually misses kick on the step. Uh, gouge on you. Hoping the Windwalker has some kind of port, but the Warlock also isn't kicking, which is really nice. Um, really good in-cap here. Oh, it's DR. Do we not have a DR tracker? Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yep, I see now. I'm, I think this is Gladius X. Okay. So we do we do see that the Druid is on in-cap DR. I, I guess it kind Experience of is a good interrupt. Tranquility. I'm, I'm recording right now, but thank you so much, Briss Flogna. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> but I am actually just recording right now. It's funny when it, another a DR sweep is not ideal. What you could do is try to get a stun on the rogue because the rogue has no cloak, no evasion. Wait, I really like this add-on. Wait, this is actually insane. I like this a lot. Um, no cloak, no evasion, no vanish, nothing. Uh, that's iron bark as well. So what we so what we're looking for right now is how do we get a kill on the rogue? You get a kill on the rogue, get a sweep after iron bark when there's no trinket, in cap on the druid because the druid is also ooming. That's what I would recommend. So I would hold on to this in cap and sweep, and wait until the rogue is no trinket so you could sweep him because we it looks like we just leg, leg swept the uh, warlock as well, and we just got kicked again. So just keep that in mind. You know, you're also fairly ahead on mana. So just your win condition could just be mana. Um, you know, blinded here. We have Trink in two, one. Press it. Nice. Watch for the road kick. Yeah. This was, I, this, this was for sure a winnable round. I don't know what this arrow is. I don't know what that arrow is. Maybe a tealer. This is a winnable round. I think your team strategy was kind of off a little bit. We did get kicked by the rogue. A few, a lot, actually. We got kicked by the work, but again, that's why I like Zen Focus T when I'm the only caster. So if I'm playing with two melee, I almost always go Zen Focus T because every kick's on you. It doesn't matter. Like every single kick it should be on you, and we have to cast everything. So Eminence did pay off that one time, but I, I feel like I still would have preferred to go Zen Focus T over it. If, if you know what I mean. We actually wait. We have Karma. What's going on here? Oh, we do press Karma. Okay. We just get, oh, okay, we just died through it. Alrighty then, that just lasts in exactly two seconds. All right, overall, for this round, overall, not too bad. Zen Focus T does get more value if teams don't go you or like swap you. Um, also, watch your DRs a little bit because, again, and, and know your win conditions as well. Mana, you're, you're way ahead on mana, right? You're like, what, 
116k mana, the dress 51k. Like you're so ahead on mana, you don't need to push in. You don't you don't need to push in. You got trinket for blind. Just chill, heal. That's it. That's all you can do. If if, if you're ahead on mana, like for example, if I'm ahead on mana and I see the other healer is at like 10% mana and I'm at 50, I'm not I'm not pushing in. I, I'm I'm alert. I'm not pushing it. I'm just gonna win on mana, and that's it. Go for an in cap when you can. Try not to make a dr. So we have rogue again. We have rogue warrior again. Well, we don't have rogue warrior again, but we have rogue warrior. Uh, so we have two melee, which means you're the only person they can kick. They do they're technically only have one kick, but you're, uh, yeah, eminence versus windwalker is probably more. Oof. Yeah, you're gonna have to juke the warlock. You're gonna have to juke the warlock, even though I don't think I don't think the windwalker will go with you. I, what I try to think about here is like what, wh like what are my greatest odds of losing to? Am I gonna lose to windwalker one shot in me, or is my windwalker, or is my rogue probably gonna get one shot? It's probably your rogue. I'd be surprised if you got one shot uh, again, though. Okay, wait, timeout. Oh, oh, could have wrapped it. Could have wrapped. That's okay. One thing to note, we're already out range of report. So you you can't, in, in, in Soul Shuffle, it's a little more difficult. You can, you, like, you need to base your port around where your team is. You can't really tell your team, like, oh, hey, play here because you don't have voice. Well, you do, but a lot of people don't join it. Um, but your team kind of took over this um, pillar. So reset your port here. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, this uh, the rogue the the windwalker already used leg sweep, and I see serenity getting popped. So just be careful. Uh, you know, windwalkers uh, they they can be a little bit gimmicky when it comes to how hard their rising sun kicks can hit. Um, but it looks like your rogue did press evasion, so that's really good for him. We missed we oh we did miss the song of GG as well. You could use Rop for it. Um, there's not really many uses for Rop against um, windwalker warlock, so I would have just pressed it. But it did look like it was going to be kind of close. Uh, it looks like we're healing here. Really good. Really good. We have a statue up, which is great. We're probably going to reset our port right now, which would be ideal. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully, they just don't go. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't go you. But yeah, I would reset my port on that pillar. In cap on you as well. Um, rogues are very difficult to heal. That's Trinket because your rogue just smoke bomb. Life cocoon on your rogue is fair. That's really good. Uh, we're just spam casting right now. It doesn't look like the warlock actually likes to cast. Or likes to like interrupt, so I think you're fine to just free cast. I, I don't think uh, the druid just trinked in a blind though. That's really good. Um, are we tracking death mark? We did use we already used death mark. Okay, so we're doing we're doing good right now. We're doing good. Everyone's got hots up. You got your envelopment missed out. You're probably winning on mana. Yep, winning on mana. So we're doing a really good job of just you know staying alive, chilling. In cap on you is fine. Uh, do we trick at that? Or did that break? Okay, it broke. That's good. Good. Um, we have Thunder Focus T here as well. Beautiful Thunder Focus T here. It's fine that you went for Envelopment first just because your teammates were doing, doing some damage or was taking some damage. Uh, definitely could have dispelled that coil a little bit faster, but I think overall we get a little kick on that Chaos Bolt there. Warlock is struggling. Could potentially go for CC here. Maybe in-cap on the Druid. Beautiful. Don't. The CC isn't worth it if you're going to die. Beautiful. Great. Kick that. Yes. Awesome job. Well, this round was really good. I have, I, there are, there is, I don't think you did anything wrong besides that you're out, out ran in your port. But like, I think this was a really, really good round here. Cause we see, see this, can you shot? The only, here's one thing I would recommend is like, we get the CC after the stun. You, like you see the kidney shot on you. I think this is big debuffs. This is a kidney shot. I would go for like an in cap as soon as it happens, but be careful. Cause like now we push in after the CC and now the warlock can like CC you and stuff like that. So just be careful. The CC is never worth it. If you're going to die for it. Um, cause we're dying now. Cause our goes, our go is over right here at this point. Our, this is, this is no longer our go. This is their go. This is the Windwalker fist of fury. Um, we have no defensives. We have nothing. So like, just be careful. That it's a good thing the warlock doesn't kick because if we did it was we probably dead. Also, your rogue was running cheat death, so really good kick here by the way. But just just know that try to get the CC when the enemy team is just like get in the stun, <coughs> uh, not after. Excuse me. All right, round three. All right, here we go. We got uh okay. We got some warrior warlock. I've played this comp a few times in regular threes. It's really solid. Uh, I think the kill target is probably going to be the rogue. You can hit either. They're going to go your Warlock. I would... Yeah, Eminence is good here. 
Eminence, uh, Peace Weaver is good as as well as Restoral, all solid. And then, uh, which one call it? Um, Chrysalis is good too. So your talents are fine right now. Uh, trying to get combat, it's gonna be kind of hard. Maybe we get it. We didn't put. Oh, okay. Wait, I don't mind this. Oh, <laughs> okay. They found you. All right, their stealth's a little better than ours. Groats on you. We also don't have a port down, so just be careful. He does rake stun you and blind you, so I don't mind sitting this. Especially since they already sapped you. There's a DR in cap. Clones the in cap uh, DR as well. Really good. Get the song here. Okay, go sweep first is fine. Okay, this is by the way this situation right here. What just happened is why you always go for a song first because the song is cast. You could have actually probably gotten this. You probably could have. You actually could have probably gotten gotten this uh, song. Yeah, this is fine. You probably could have gotten it um, because now they trinket the sweep and then the song of Chigi isn't you know. You can't get the song of Chi Chi. So that's why you always go for the in cap song and then sweep the trinket because this, the sweep is instant. If you're playing the um, Tiger Tail Sweep, I think it's called the, the talent. It's like the, your, the range is increased and the cooldown is reduced. So I would definitely go, always go for the in cap song and then leg sweep the trinket because now you can't get any follow up CC. But really good stun here from the wind, uh, from the warrior uh, on, the, on the druid. We life cocoon the wind walk, the uh, warlock. Which is good, and that's a good fear from your warrior as well. Really good kiting. This is Serenity, so it's a really good life cocoon. You always try to match your cooldowns, and then, you know, uh, life cocoon matches up with Serenity, which is really nice. Well, you know, two minutes, but you know what I mean. We do have the Chrysalis to shorten the cooldown. We do get kicked from the Windwalker there, um, so we do fall a little bit behind, but it looks like the Rogue still has vanished, but I think Rogue is definitely the kill target. Step kick on you. If you find yourself not being the target, I would drop Eminence for Zen Focus T as well. But we're doing a really good job. Positioning-wise, I don't see much of an issue this game as well. Um, they're just CCing you like crazy, but then the Warlock doesn't have much CC. So I, I think you're doing really fine right now, just healing. Um, I don't see a port up as well. So just be careful. If they go... The ideal situation is they go your Warrior. I want you to know. Like, let them... Incap the Druid here, maybe? Yep, almost. Oh, that was NS. Yeah, you got the NS off. Sweep. Go for a song? Yep. Oh, nice try. Okay. That's fine. We get kicked. That's okay. We got the rogue. We got the Windwalker trinket though. Rogue has nothing. Nice drop there. Give me a kick on the next cast. Give me the give me a kick. Give me a kick. That's fine. Alright, this is no longer our go, by the way. They're kiting it out. They just use kidney shot. We're just gonna relax now. I don't know if your statue is out of range, by the way. It might be out of range. No, it's not. Good. I see it. And we get kicked again. Yeah, kick these kicks are brutal for us when we're falling behind. The good thing is that they're not kicking your warlock. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, that's a Cyclone, by the way. Your, your, your Warlock is Cycloned. So, I don't think you can heal, right? What's going on here? Yeah, Cyclone. Uh, that's Dark Pack from your Warlock. It's absolutely blasted. Uh, Life Cocoon is fair, but now... Okay. Yeah, no, it's fine, because that's the end of Serenity. I think we're okay here. Blind, instantly Trinket is fair, too. I'm trying to see if we have any stuns right now or any CC. I would just go for... I, know, I see that we're trying to get... So, like, yeah, I would probably, so, yeah, I would definitely, the thing, the biggest thing I would say is the biggest mistake you made this round was right here. It was right here. Uh, don't ever, this is it, by the way, you're home right here. Don't, don't go in any further than this. Uh, you could, I know we were going to get a kill. You know what? I'm, a, I'm not going to lie. I would have pushed in for an in on Druid here as well. I would in the Druid here. Boom! Get the in cap. You're out. You're you you this. You are no longer back here behind the pillar. You can't be back here because then people just get kicks, sweeps, stuns, in caps, cyclones, anything on you. So right now, right now you're making it very easy for the enemy team to CC you and like disrupt your healing, which is obviously really annoying because we play misweavers and we need to cast everything. Um, what you needed to do was just get this in cap right here. Get it? Boom. And then you're out. Like, roll backwards towards your Warlock. And make it make it so the other team has to stand in the middle of the map for your Warlock. Knock, and then they're not even kicking the Warlock. They're kicking you. So your, your Warlock can also spam fears. I think your Warlock could have done a better job of spam fearing. I don't see many fear DRs going out. Like, there's none. There's no fear DRs on anybody. So your Warlock could have absolutely done a way better job of kiting or not kiting uh peeling for themselves or your teammates because i think they hit your warrior at one point 
But besides that, for from your point of view, uh, just don't push in. Don't stay pushed in ever either. Like you cannot ever push in and make it easy for teams to go you. Otherwise, you're just gonna fall behind, and make it. You're gonna make it really, really easy for teams to hit to like connect to you. This team could have swapped you and kill you. By the way, like this this Windwalker right here pops Serenity, and they use on the Warlock while he cycloned. Nah, this team easily could have killed you right here because we also don't have a port down uh, in line or in range. So just keep that in mind. Um, we are playing... What are we playing? We're playing some Windwalker Destro now. Yeah, same thing. Warlock... Uh, um, kill target's probably going to be the rogue. The only person that's going to be able to kick you should be the rogue. So one less kick to worry about. A little bit more CC because I do have fear, but I wouldn't fret. We're losing to a rogue not even fully geared. Uh, that's because the rogue is an assassination rogue. So, I mean, that just... They're just insane. Um, again, we got a port down. Shadow mouth so we don't get sapped. Combat. Yeah. There you go. Uh, be careful. Renewing Mist has a travel time. So you're not going to get combat instantly. So the, the Windwalker has combat right now. You're not going to get combat. Let me see. You're Renewing Mist right now? Oh, interesting. It has a travel time. Oh, unless we use the Mist or whatever. So we get stunned on. No follow-up CC from you, which is good, or from the Druid, which is nice. Yulon is really great. I see your healing rotation is really, really good, by the way. Like, I don't see any problems with your healing rotation. We also don't have a statue down, though. So that's the biggest issue right now. We do Life Cocoon the, the Warlock, which is fair. Uh, they did Gate, but they also didn't Wall, so that's nice. Careful of the Rogue Kick. Go for some CC here, because the Druid right now is doing the same thing you did last round, and that's pushing in when they shouldn't. Like, this Druid should be 40 yards away. I don't know why this Druid is pushed in right now. Like, uh, stacked on your team, but it's making it really easy for your Windwalker to hit them. Um, we still do not have a statue down. So, if you're playing that talent, I forget what it's called right now, but or Peaceful Mending, I think, uh, you, you're not getting that bonus healing on your um, Enveloping Mists and your Nearing Mists. So, keep that in mind. Uh, losing on quite a bit of healing, but that's fine. Uh, that's a double sweep. Rogue still does have Trinket. Warrior does Trinket. That's Rally from the Warrior. Druid again is getting pushed is it's true is pushed in a little far. That's okay. So here's the good thing about them kicking you right there is you can get in cap songs, but just you don't be afraid to heal. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how we just, well, are we, wait, are we playing disarm? So one thing I do want to note is versus warriors. I would drop eminence here. I, I, when you're playing, when the warlock is on your team, drop eminence. It's not worth it. They're not killing you. They're killing your warlock. I don't know what talents we're playing. I don't know if we changed them. No, we're not. We didn't change them. Drop eminence and put dis and get disarm. Uh, that way, when you get if you get kicked, if your the warrior uses their cooldowns, anything like that, you could just instantly disarm them because they do a lot of damage. Like you could see, this warrior is just doing 50k DPS. Jeez, uh, you could just disarm like avatars or anything like that, or after the blade storm. So keep that in mind. Um, also. I'm trying to think if even I feel like uh, Peace Weaver really isn't that insane versus either because it's mostly physical and it's your it's the warrior doing damage. So I would I would actually drop Peace Weaver too and go like Zen Focus T maybe for the for the rogue damage or something like that. Just because we the rogue keeps the, honestly the rogue's the only one with the kick. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe Peace Weaver is worth it because we almost had it at the end. But I think the biggest thing here is that we aren't playing disarm because when we get kicked here. Do, 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 do. We also throw an invoke mist on ourselves. Um, when we get kicked here, you could disarm the warrior. Um, that way, there's no nothing crazy going on. But yeah, this one was just also you could incap the rogue as well. When you get kicked, uh, do we have incap here? No, we probably don't. Do we? I think we just use it on the druid. That's too bad. I think the only issue with this round was the fact that we didn't have disarm for the warrior because it's tough. Warrior damage is really really tough. Right. What do we got? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the warlock is gonna be struggling. Okay, you have the rogue on your team. I think if you don't get, uh, yeah, they shouldn't stack on you. They they shouldn't stack. You should definitely stay far away. Yeah. 
Um, the Warlock, I mean, th again, I'm focusing on your gameplay. There is a whole lot of things I'm sure your teammates could be doing better, but I'm just focusing on you. Um, I would drop Eminence and go Disarm versus this, by the way. And you don't need Peace Weaver because they have no magic damage. So, oh, so you don't even need to drop Eminence. You could keep Eminence and drop Peace Weaver and go Disarm. That's that's what you should do. I, Peace Weaver is, is useless versus this. There, there's no reason to be. Um, playing that. Let's zap. All right. Oh. That was actually our fault. Uh, also, last round, we didn't have a statue up. So you're missing out on quite a bit of healing. Um, we also don't have a statue down now. So again, keep that in mind. I'm not seeing much of an issue. Good sweep here. Really good. Parry from the warrior. We're getting a song of Chigi. I don't know how that warrior did not. Oh, the warrior already kicked. Okay, good. All right, good in cap here. Uh, be careful when playing with the rogue with your song of Chigi because you will... DR they're blind with it. We life cocoon ourselves and four pru. That's evasion from the rogue. So we, we used a, that was a pretty big overlap from us. Here's here's the thing right here. We're out of the issue right now that we start is we're out of range of our port right here. Okay. So again, remember before when we were playing with two melee and I said don't put your port all the way back because you're playing with two melee that needs to push in? Well now you're playing with the caster. And you, you, I think you played with the caster last game. So you're fine to be on this pillar because they're probably going to push in on your caster. So your port can be back here, but now we're out of range of our port. We also have Restoral. So we Fort Brew, which is fine, and we Restoral. We could have just ported and not Life Cocooned. Um, I, we didn't need to Life Cocoon ourselves here. But we use Evasion, which is good. Um, no follow-up CC. War Banner is on you if you can kill it. Beautiful job. Um, going for CC on the Druid, maybe? I don't know. I'd be careful with pushing it on the Druid right now because your, your Rogue's dying. That's Ironbark as well on your on the Warrior. Swapping over to your Warlock. Again, we still don't have a statue down, and you're losing out on a lot of healing. Cyclone coming in hot here. It's a half Cyclone, so it's fine. Va uh, vanish from your Rogue. DR clone again. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. You have the Rogue on your team. You don't need to worry about blind. That's good. That's good. Incap on you. So they've DR'd you on everything. They shouldn't have any kicks for you. They have none. You could just free cast here. Your Warlock's probably having a lot of fun. That's a full full kidney shot on the Warrior. So we're looking for some kind of CC on the Druid. Druid has no Trinket. He's on Fear DR. Do we have an Incap? We have Incap. That's really good. So we're looking for an Incap on the Druid if we can. If we can't, it's fine. Doesn't seem like we can. That's okay. Uh, Stormbolt on you. Good. Healing here. Fear on the ro on the druid, no CC on the on the warrior right now. Go for an in cap off that fear. Yeah, win here, win here. Get the in cap on the druid. Mm. Trying to think what else we could. Do. I mean, we're winning on mana. That's a that's another important thing. Good in cap here. This is a DR song. Cyclone's good or uh or a little life cocoon is good here. Good envelop mist, renewing mist as well. Good, just free cast here. They have no range kicks for you, so you can just free cast. They have no CC for you. Big healing warlock. I don't know what the monk was trying to do there. Rop here might want to rop on your warlock to make it a little bit easier. Sweep here. Dampen harm from the windwalker. Kill the war banner. Good job. Positioning wise, this is a fearful. We trinket the fear, which is good. That's the longer CC they'll have. That's instant. You could avoid the cyclones. Um, Evasion in three. This is a good. This is a good round right here. Full kidney shot, uh, trinket from the warrior. So next go. I'm next go. Oh, we have to lift two more goes because then we have Deathmark. Port there is fine. Uh, we port back probably. That's good too. Oh, we port. Okay. Whoa. E. E. All right. Let's. Oh, okay. All right. That. That's a little. That's a little scary right there. We port, and then we 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 use our last roll. We just use one of our rolls. Now we're using our second roll to push back into the other team. We can't even get CC because it's Fist of Fury. We're going to leg sweep here. And it's... I don't even think it goes off on the Windwalker. Okay, it does go off on the Windwalker. And we get... Okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess we maybe just kill the Windwalker here. Can you shot? Oh, wow. Whew. Whew, got me a little scared there. I'm not going to lie. That was a little scary, but whew, made it work. Overall, this one wasn't bad. Be careful when you push in, though. Because wh when was it? When was it? We, like, pushed in on, like, the, right here. Right here. Let me see. Right here. We push we we go to the druid and your your rogue is dying. Your your rogue is dying. And we don't have any stops right now. If this druid cycloned you, your rogue is probably gonna die. 
or like any CC on you. So tr when when it's the enemy teams go or like when you have no CC, try to stay very far away. Like the cyclone is like a little too late. It like ha it's way too late. But if it was a little bit sooner, it could have been a little bit scary, like much scarier. Um, but overall, yeah, just try to stay far away. Just try to stay far away. Don't try to push in. The second roll, by the way, that was a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. That was a we have no trinket here, and we went we went here. It, good job waiting for the fist of fury for the leg sweep. But oh my lord, that is scary. But we did get the kill there. That did get the trinket from the windwalker, and then we got I think we got a dr kidney shot. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That warrior looked like you were like trying to get after you though. It's a little scary. Um, and then this is the final round, right? So we have. We have Warrior Lock versus, what is it, Rogue Windwalker. Kill targets the Warlock. Again, your port should be on one of these side pillars here, depending on when you're, which one, which uh, which way your team goes. There's only one ranged kick, but I don't think this Warlock has kicked once this entire series. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So, I, I would say the only mandatory talent I would take, I, I would go Peace Weaver, Disarm, chrysalis try to get the jukes on the cs if you get kicked disarm the warrior that's what i would do um revive or restore i don't think it actually matters I, I don't think it actually matters which one you go they have storm bolt but you know there is it there really isn't much you want to uh dispel so oh also i don't one sec last round okay you finally got a statue down okay good good you didn't have statue for like half the game and then the round before that. So just keep that in mind. We get a sap on, wait, wait, on the druid or on the warlock. Okay. Oh. Follow up in cap. Uh, we're pushed in right now. We're getting a song on the warlock. I'm actually, who, who are we trying to kill right now? Are we trying to kill the warrior? It looks like we're trying to kill the warrior. I guess the warlock has like 615k health. All right, I guess we're trying to go warrior or druid. Druid is a kill target as well. Absolutely. So that's fine too. Good rob. Big damage coming out from them. Make sure your statue stays in line. Be careful. Oh my god, be careful. Okay. We're just we're just hopping right now. <laughs> what just happened here? Yeah, I would just stay right here. Your team is right in front of you. I mean, I, I guess repositioning is fine, but we're just hopping right now. <laughs> yeah, be careful because your rogue is the one that's stunned right now. I actually, okay, yeah, that's trinket from the from your rogue. Trinket evasion from your rogue. And then they try to go on your windwalker and then they dampen arm. Okay, so just be careful. Now I think they're trying to go you, which is a little bit scary. Okay, good. All right, good. It's a really good thing the warlock does not kick. All right, reset your port. Perfect. So, like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, just reset your port depending on, like, where your team is. Um, and it'll make life a lot easier. Nice kick on that. Really good. Um, we have in-cap. So, oh, we get kicked. Uh, we should have some kind of in-cap song, but it looks like your Windwalker, Fort Brew, and Karma, uh, which is fine. You shouldn't... So, like, you the Windwa your Windwalker is probably going to be fine. So, this Envelop Mist and Renewing Mist is probably enough. I would immediately swap over... To your rogue and start healing him and then with your vivify cleave it'll heal your your windwalker because your your windwalker has no defensives right now so if they just swap over any damage to him he's gonna probably just die um essence font here is fair envelop mist okay Envelop mist on new windwalker is good in cap watch out for the fear nice in cap you sweep into a song good oh my god okay you know what hey that's four rating that's not no no problems with that i would say one thing also is um be careful of going for cc when your teammates are dying because if there is a kick available um and you're cc'ing and your team's dying uh your your teammate will die so just keep that in mind overall though i positioning wise solo shuffle is just like that that i mean that's that's solo shuffle you know, uh, people are going to push in when they shouldn't. They're not going to rotate cooldowns when they should. So I, the one thing that you can control is your port placement and where you position depending on where your team is. Uh, don't push in if you don't have to. If if you want to or if you if the, if it's, you know, if, if the the situation needs an in-cap or like something like that, roll in, get in-cap, roll out or port away. You don't stay in there any longer. 
you know, because for the most part, Mistweavers, you could just win on mana. You could, you could just win on mana, and you'll be fine. Um, you could just heal from 40 yards away. Just make sure you don't get kicked and just heal. Uh, that's another thing. Eminence, I know it's a little scary versus Assassination Rogues, and I know it's gambling because if they figure out that you don't have Portwell Stunned you'll, or, like, Eminence, you will die. But for the most part, if you're playing with a Warlock, an Ellie Shaman, something squishy, they're probably just going to target that person, and you don't get any value of Eminence. So I would probably opt for, like, Zen Focus T, especially versus Warlocks. Uh Warlocks will probably start kicking. Um, this Warlock didn't kick at all, but be careful for because when they do, you will get locked out if you don't have Zen Focus T or if you're not paying attention. Um, but overall, no, these games are solid. You're over just again, get your CC and push out, stay 40 yards away. You did a great job healing. Your healing rotation was solid. Um, your def your cooldown rotation was solid. I didn't see any issues with that. So just keep playing. You're gonna you're gonna crush it. Seriously, some lobbies are better than others. Solo shuffle is kind of RNG when it comes to stuff like that. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Answer any questions you had. Anyone else that might have had questions with solo shuffle positioning. So that is pretty much it. If you have any other questions, let me know. But that's it for me. Everyone's a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.